Thanks. Going back to school means waking up early, catching the bus perhaps. So one local kid wants to help your kids make it to the bus stop on time and make sure that you can track them all the way to school and then back home. So he's created an app. It is called BusWiz, and you're about to meet him. This is 13-year-old Miriam Shaw. He is joining us this morning to give a closer look at this new technology that he came up with. Great to have you, by the way. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for inviting me. Congratulations. Thank you. This is very cool. So you're going into the eighth grade, right? You go yes. to school in Lakeland. Yes. Tell me how you came up with this. So um, in the mornings and in the afternoons, my parents would be, and I would also be very frustrated if the bus was going to be late or if it's too early. And right. there was no way to tell where the bus would be, when we should get to the stop. So it was, uh, I had an idea to create the app. And uh, the YEA program, they helped me create this app and develop it so that it would benefit parents and the school board as well. Okay, so tell us how it works because we've got some graphics up here on the wall so people at home can see. So this this would be the intro page that you yes, would see? Yes, this is the okay. home page. Okay, the home and, page. Uh, so from here, you could see that, uh, that he has three children and uh, one has not been paid for. So okay. if two children ride the same bus and you only want to pay for one, then that's also okay. So first you would click on, say, Huey Duck okay. and uh, it would take you to this page. This is sort of the summary for that one child. Okay. And uh, as you can see, bus 204, the scheduled pickup, scheduled drop off. And then you would click here for the track page. Ah. So here you could see the different stops. And then also the bus icon right here, you can see that the bus has stopped right now. Okay. And right now it's in Bartow. So you, you're able to see the different stops. And uh, your stop would be the pin drop okay right there. I gotcha all right so so if so Polk County is already working with this app is that yes, right so, yes, this so is, how did you convince them to do it so I had a meeting with them and they were very supportive for this because it's a it's a necessity in our society and I think all across Florida it is a very it's a thing that's needed right. and uh, so I talked with them and they were they were hesitant at first but they were very supportive because a, a lot of parents called them throughout the day right. asking where the bus is anything like that so okay so so the way this works is the bus driver then has this on their phone so basically are you tracking their phone inside the bus actually there's a device a device uh, yeah. okay so it's a, a tracking device and it's under the dashboard you attach it so the app actually tracks that and through that, you could tell the expected arrival time, which is at the top. I love it. This is so cool. I'm so excited for you. And thank then you, your hope, you. I imagine, is to have many other school districts. That, I hope to, to go across right? the United States. So how will you go about that? Do you have a business plan? Yeah, so uh, I actually hope to go across the southeast region in the next three years. That is amazing. All right, if our viewers would like to learn more about the app, when does it go live? So I, the website is already live. It's buswiz.com. Okay. And the app will go live most likely in a couple of weeks with the demo. I'm so excited for you. Niram Shah, thank you so much thank for coming well. and showing us this morning. And did your brother make it? Is he doing good? Let's check in on him. He is actually, yeah, he's at the school. Already made it. <laughs> yeah. I love it. It's awesome. All right. Your parents will be happy to hear that, too. Thank you so much. Congratulations to you. That is super awesome. All right. 940.